so hard, libraries can't find me. That crack. That crack. That crack. Read, read so hard, libraries can't find me. That crack. That crack. That crack. He said, shake and we get married at the strand. His Friday reads a bad so he can't have my hand. You bought so hard? Okay, you're bowling. But I read so hard. I'm JK Rowling. Read so hard. So this is the Municipal Reference Collection. It's here in compact storage, which means that these move and you can hold about a quarter mile. The ward maps from 1994, we have them all the way back to 1900. I would suggest first coming up to the fifth floor, which is where the collection is located, as well as where our reference desks are. We'll most likely refer you to our online public access catalog. One of the assets of the collection is that we did cataloging for the, the published materials in the collection. If your subject is freight tunnels or North Lawndale community area, or you just need a map that shows where former dumps were in Chicago, you know, you can, um, a lot of that information can be gleaned from some of the, the um, catalog records. The other thing, the other reason to start on the fifth floor is that the Municipal Reference Collection and Municipal Reference Library created specialized indexes to help people use the collection. So we, we grabbed something from the, the 1940s about police brutality from the John Howard Association about lockups in Chicago or secret detention by Chicago police. Yeah, researchers can come in and use these collections and find out kind of historically what has happened. So this is one of the reasons why it might be good to come in and, and talk to one of the reference librarians when you're trying to do research within our collection is because sometimes things were called one thing at the time and then now we refer to it as something else. So, you know, this book is called The Steel Strike of 1937, but a lot of the History Fair students might come in and ask for the Memorial Day Massacre, um, which was, you know, when the police uh, broke up a picnic. The Chicago River, uh, a natural and unnatural history. Again, this is an, one of those topics that we would have a lot of resources on um, because it is both a, <laughs> a very man-made kind of um, engineered waterway. I guess I would say that another sort of unexpectedly popular topic are programs that never happened. <laughs> This is a document from the uh, 2016 Olympics. We also have shelves of documents on the 1993 World's Fair. And one perennial favorite is the Crosstown Expressway. We, mm -hmm. we get more questions about the Crosstown Expressway probably than the Dan Ryan. Within the, um, the Chicago Public Library, there are two, a couple of other special collections that kind of um, can be used in tandem with our own. We're sitting so, in one. We, yes, so the special <laughs> collections here at Harold Washington Library um, uh, have archives of two mayors. So the uh, Harold Washington administration's archives, Harold Washington's archives, as well as Eugene Sawyer's are here. Um, and so the archival materials from the mayor are going to be different than what we have in the um, published collections. So, you know, we have their executive orders, um, but it's um, going to be organized differently, and it's going to be sort of the the um, kind of collected or published versions of things, as opposed to um, press photos uh, of the mayor doing some sort of signing of something, um, which would be in. Uh, in the archive collection. Yeah, the archives will have much more personal and biographical material than we will. Ours tends to be mostly the mayor in an official function.